Hello everyone, this is Tech Sergeant Bird, and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly wear your service coat. Because I've found there's been, not been a lot of proper content on how to, so I've decided to look at some regs, and this is what I've came up with. So, starting with the, with the coat in general, you're going to want these sleeves to be unfolded or unrolled completely if they are folded or un if they're folded or rolled in any way it does have to be taken off it cannot next you're going to want for ribbons what i did what reg says is to have it grounded with this little tab right here it looks kind of like a pocket you're going to have your ribbons right resting on it as you can see when it comes to rank insignia you're going to have the, the you're going to have this little point right here as close to the seam right here trying to get it to rest on it i was able to really but if you can imagine that that's what you're supposed to do same for the other insignia just another little this is just the same thing they're both also far they're also going to be for me i had two inches up and I'm not sure how much that cross, but two inches up for both on the and when measuring two inches right to that point right there. If it I don't know how it is for all insignia, but I'd say anything for since I'm a tech sergeant, I haven't have that, but I'd say for cadet airman, it would be probably right to the point of the actual shield. And there's a difference between the coats with NCOs and officers. If you're wearing an NCO coat, you're going to want, or NCO or airman coat, you're going to want none of these epaulets on the side. You're going to want not just this up here to be completely flat, nothing on it. If you're an officer, however, you're going to have these little, uh, I forgot what they're, epaulets, and they're going to be able to basically fold off so you can put your rank insignia on that, which is, you won't be putting your rank insignia on this. Now for name for name tag, I actually didn't find a whole lot, so I decided basically to just kind of line it up as close as I can with my ribbons. Just try to align it nice so it looks good. And while this does look kind of funky on the ground, once you are actually wearing the service coat, it will look straightened out and better. So next, you want all the three of these buttons buttoned. Just wear it as it should be. And with the service coat, you must wear a shirt and a tie. The shirt and tie for the class C's, kind of like this. Name tag and ribbons are required. Rank maybe if you have an extra pair. If you don't, then it is what it is. But other than that, that's pretty much the service coat. And I'll show you a shot now of what it looks like to be in it in full uniform. <laughs> 